What up though, it's Philip Tech. Today I'm gonna show you how to move an off-screen window back to your desktop view. This video applies to both Windows 11 and 10 computers. If you're using a secondary monitor or remote desktop, then you may run across this problem. The window will open in a random place off to the side where it won't really be visible or movable with your mouse. As you can see on my screen, I have my File Explorer window off to the right side and the only thing I can really do is just click on it. I'm unable to move it to the middle of my screen. The first thing we have to do is select the window. One, if your window is visible, then you can just left click any place on it. If it's not visible, then hold down Alt and press Tab until you find the application you want to move. In my instance is the one all the way to the left, so just let go of Alt and you've selected it. Now, press the following keys in order, Alt space M, and you'll see your mouse pointer will change to four arrows. Now, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the window application where you want it. So here I'm just going left, up and down, and then hit enter. And that's it. You move your off-screen window back in position. This is the easiest and cleanest way to move an application. If you're only using one application, then you can go to the taskbar, press shift, and right click until you see move. This will also bring up the four arrows where you'll be able to use your arrow keys on the keyboard to move the application back. The last option I'll show you will bring all the windows to the main screen. So go to the taskbar and right click until you find cascade windows. Hit that and as you'll see, it'll bring all the windows you have on your desktop view. So you'll be able to control each one as you'd please. As a tip to prevent this from happening in the future, remember to move the open windows to your primary monitor before disconnecting the second monitor. If you want more information on how to change your display settings, then check out my dual monitor setup video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Till next time, see ya.